Hi guys, I'm Lisa for WTF Lisa Terrell. And uh, I tried to read earlier, and I'm just getting the same thing over and over. It's just been the same thing I have already been reading for. And so I said, like, okay, I'm not reading today. I did enough yesterday. And now, where the streets have no name. You too. Bono. And I had this amazing feeling come over me. I feel like somebody just had an epiphany. So, I'm feeling ancestors all over the shit. So, I got my Akashic Tarot. And we'll see what's the uh, topic here, ancestors. Yeah, hilarious. Somebody is doing the reflection. They're doing their spiritual growth or their mental growth you know maybe somebody just started therapy and they feel amazing maybe somebody is doing their spiritual shit I mean it could be anything but someone's feeling very they feel fucking awesome when I go there I go there with you it's all I can do they're inspired wing messengers they're receiving messages downloads you know, or it could even just be a thing as like family and friends supporting them if it's therapy or rehab. They are supported. They're seeing the signs. This is very cool. Chess game. They're winning this chess game. Should I take one more? Okay, okay, okay. Where the streets have no name. Queen of Roses. Yeah. The queen has won game so let's do some past life burning down love and when I go there I go there with you it's all I can do I kind of feel like it sounds like a love energy but I just feel like it's a spiritual love honestly you're like me despite what people have said your life choice has actually been to walk the earth learn your spiritual shit spiritual teacher training and I feel like somebody has stepped into their divinity 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 they're definitely divine <clears throat> after many wars and battles in their life. They won the chess game. Checkmate. Because of their trust and faith to keep going. Now, it doesn't mean they're done with their spiritual journey. You are never done. The most powerful Buddha's never done. You know what I mean? Jesus is never done. Yeshua. People say Jesus. Like, I know Jesus. No, you fucking don't. Jesus is the Greek Orthodox translation of his name from I forget what century. His name is Yeshua. But to know Jesus. Um, this person has gone in for inner reflection. I see Asia as meditation, you know. I don't read past life cards as actual past lives. I read them as a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, I got all about that vase. A couple days ago, a couple months ago. The the vase, no trouble. Yeah, they just feel good. The the vase, no trouble. I'm all about the vase, vase, the vase. They've gone in for healing. That's how I see Native American. I see it as a shaman healing uh, wisdom. So I got that boom. We're going to try out the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck in all the right places. I see them magazines. Look in them bottom shop. You know that shit ain't real. Come on now, make it stop. Yeah, this person has just a lot of clarity. And they just feel awesome. I like it. This is very cool. I like this energy much better than the uh, channeling this like, douchebag trying to convince a woman who sees right through him that he's not a douchebag, but the dude smells like douche. Like, he could have his own fucking horrible smelling cologne line. And people would be like, oh yeah, that reminds me of that guy. Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. And that's what this person's doing with their meditation or therapy or rehab you know whatever you believe 
No trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. High Priestess, Harness, Mystic Power. And that doesn't necessarily go out and start being a witch. Mystic Power is just inner strength. Free will. Discernment. You have to uh, sometimes apply a practical definition to these things. Because reality, right? Life's not a movie. And it's no fairy tale. Practical magic would be if you spill milk. Do you cry and wish for someone else to come clean it up? Or do you just clean it up? You just clean it up. That is practical magic. And that's what this person's doing. <clears throat> they're figuring out their magic. And their direction guardian choose your path. They're choosing their path. About the base. No trouble. Because they're all about the base. No trouble. They know what they want. They know what they're looking for. And they're just like finalizing, figuring it out. That's pretty cool. About the base. No trouble. Autumn. Release the old and rest. And it is autumn time. So this person knows, you know, they've let go of their past. And they're just uh, taking the time to heal and figure shit out. Yeah, so the same usual divine pen, divine journey. Water guardian, connect with your emotions. But I feel like they have, actually. I feel like this could be more past energy. So what's the point? Ah! Air guardian, shift your perception. Fire guardian, ignite your passion. So we got fire air and water that I pulled up. Now I have for what it's worth, Buffalo Springfield. There's something happening here, but what it isn't exactly clear. There's man with a gun over there telling me I got to beware. It's yeah, someone stop. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Yeah, this is just this person starting to figure out shit. Learning to use their good judgment. Star ancestor for all the voice of your soul. But they're not in complete alignment because I only have three out of four elements here. So they're not completely grounded. And I think the point of this reading is to bring this star boy back down to earth. You know, hang out in the sky for a bit, but you got to come back down to earth. So I'm going to give you a Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And then, ah, send you on your way, star boy or star girl, to go explore your galaxy. See what I did there? Anyway, I'm a star boy. And, you know, if you are into the star seed thing, this is a star seed awakening. Google that. It's fun. <laughs> What's my stance on it? None of your fucking business. Just... Google it and discover for yourself and make your own decision. Stop. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I keep getting that. This person is just becoming aware of how fucked up things are. But they're not grounded yet. Because they are only... They've got the passion. Fire. Uh, they're getting the knowledge. Air. And they're in their emotions. Water. But there's no earth here. And I didn't... I feel I felt done with these. So this person needs to come back to Earth. This reminder. It's great that they're aware, but now they just kind of have to ground that energy and figure it out. See, so we have Clover. Release your guilt. This is, you know, like if you're in rehab and you have that. I don't know all the steps. I've never been to like A in rehab, but they always talk about uh, asking forgiveness. We have by Lamos by Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I just taking accountability and releasing some guilt over things that you just you couldn't control. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. So this is where the grounding comes in. And for some people, grounding is. Um, <clears throat> it's self-care meditate 
uh, get in nature if you can, drink tea, uh, eat, drink hippie stuff because it's natural, so it's better for your body, uh, but it helps you kind of ground. And I mean, if you don't believe in hippie stuff, if you, if you believe in science, it's scientifically proven that natural food's good for you. Palamos, let the rhythm take you over, palamos. This person's very excited. <laughs> They just need to ground a bit. Uh, Epsom salt baths. Stuff is, with as much natural stuff as you can. Turmeric's really good. Usually through this journey, people have aches and pains, like actual physical ones. Like for me, it's been my back. Just muscular stuff. I'm all good. Universe, we all just stardust. I guess thinking of Moby, we are all made of stars. Yeah, they're just figuring out the universe. And their universe. I'm a Gemini, so I see duality and everything. The universe and their universe. But I'm, I'm so excited. I like this person's energy, but they do need to calm down. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. Yeah, so they're just working on changing their life, and it's awesome. I want to reach for the stars. It's our star boy, your star girl. Balamos. Like, they're just excited. <laughs> I like it. So how do I close out this reading? Because uh, it feels like they just want to talk to someone about it. But it can't be me. I want to keep these videos short. I got stuff to do. Bailamos. Shark, so I'm away from the situation. I think this card is for me. My ancestors are like, you're right. You got stuff to do. So I'm going to make like a shark and swim the fuck out of here. Bye, guys.